Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is 12.30 in Honolulu, 6.30 in New York on Tuesday, 27th day of August 2024, and this is uh, the evening report for gold and silver. Although gains in gold futures today were a modest $6.40, the resulting rise took gold to yet a new all-time record closing price of $2,560. Silver gained a fractional amount today, 7.5 cents. It took the most active contract above $30 for the first time since the middle of July. Currently, we have silver trading overseas in Australia at $30.04. Gold's tremendous ascent to multiple all-time record closes over the last has been largely the net result Couple of, of a months. dollar that has lost almost 6% since the end of June. The dollar index declined today by an additional 0.31%, taking the index to 100.56, and more importantly, trading below the low that came in on the 28th of December when the dollar index traded to a low of 100.678. This first chart is a standard Japanese candlestick chart of COMEX Gold. Each candle represents 30 minutes after the Consumer Confidence Index for August was released earlier this morning. Gold actually traded under pressure, trading to an intraday low of $2,539 before recovering. Gold is now surging overseas in Australia up a couple of dollars from the New York close at $2,563.80 in active and fast market conditions. I have updated our Elliott Wave Intermediate Wave Count that comes under our primary wave count. In terms of our primary, that is the circled number one, two, and three. The intermediate wave count that is under our primary wave count has the numbers one through five in parentheses rather than circles and reflects the sub count of this primary third wave. I have updated it to reflect the incredible bullish nature and recent moves in gold. My count now assumes that in terms of our intermediate count, we have gone through wave one, wave two, wave three, and wave four which means that we are currently in our fifth intermediate wave that will compose the primary third wave. And I've revised it upwardly to suggest that we could go much higher than 2585, possibly as high as 2600 to 2500 to reflect the incredible bullish surge we have seen recently in gold. Obviously, once this primary third wave is complete, we will enter some sort of correction, a corrective fourth wave. And to that end, on tomorrow's show, as well as Thursday's show, I will start to model the possibilities depending on where we believe gold will conclude this primary third wave, where the fourth corrective wave could take gold before entering a final primary fifth wave which I believe will take gold close to $2,700 per ounce. Why silver has absolutely lagged behind the performance in gold, silver has broken above $30 per ounce, basis the most active futures contract, a price that we have not seen since the middle of July. We believe that silver could trade as high as $31, possibly to $31.50 before the conclusion of this fifth wave, all part and parcel of a primary wave one. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.